Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 3rd of January 1870, construction began on the Brooklyn Bridge. Although numerous suspension bridges had been built prior to the Brooklyn Bridge, nothing came close to the almost 1,600-foot span across the East River from Brooklyn to Manhattan. German immigrant John Augustus Roebling was attracted to the challenge after he developed a system to stabilise large span bridges using a steel web truss down each side. He was appointed chief engineer, but six months before construction began, died of a tetanus infection after a boat crushed his toes while he was surveying the future site. John Roebling's son Washington took over the project, but he too suffered a terrible injury while inspecting the foundations. In order to secure a stable foundation for the towers of the bridge, large watertight timber caissons were sunk to the riverbed. These enormous upside-down boxes were filled with compressed air to keep out the water, and men known as sandhogs then entered to dig away the sediment until they reached bedrock. The compressed air inside the caissons gave the workers terrible headaches, but more dangerously, dissolved high levels of gases into their bloodstream. Exiting the caisson caused these gases to expand, leading to incredible pain, paralysis and even death. Washington Roebling himself was struck down with this very caisson disease, now better known as the Benz, and he was confined to his home for much of the bridge's construction. His wife Emily took over many of his duties, and therefore it was she that successfully oversaw the completion of the project. The bridge was officially opened on May 24th, 1883, 13 years after construction began. The total cost was over $15 million, more than twice the original estimate, but well over a century later, it still remains a vital link for New York commuters. Thank you.